Hi, this is Ian Harvey, Tokyo US Brand Manager. I wanted to show you the workbench today as pertains to Nordic skiing. I've got one here which I'll show you in a second. The workbench is steel. It's got an aluminum top sheet. It's extremely robust and stable. It's the kind of thing you can jump up and down on or or whatever and it's it won't even it's the strongest, most stable workbench in the market and has been for many years. It's made in Switzerland. Um, it can be a profile bench can be put on both sides of it, and because it's so stable, you'll have very minimal rockage or, or any kind of movement. Um, so that's great. The profiles that go onto this bench are specifically made for this bench and fit very well, uh, hold up for a long time, and for that reason, are also quite popular. So, this is a Toko workbench with a profile mounted on one side. Uh, a pro, as you can see, there's a hole here and room on here so you can you can set a workbench up on both sides with plenty of workspace for both and because the table is so stable um, it really works very well for that purpose. There's something I wanted to mention regarding this as well and that is a lot of people prefer to have the profiles such that they lock down. And I, I prefer that they don't lock down, and I'll show you why. So here's a ski. Let's say I've been working on other skis, other, other length skis, women's skis, kids' skis, big guy skis, whatever. I put the ski on, and it fits easily, but it's not locked down, as you can see. Then I take my hands and just cinch the profiles towards the middle. At this point, it's perfectly um, seated in there. There's no, there's no play whatsoever. It's exactly the way you want it. You do your work, and then you want to switch skis. You pop it off, push these out a little bit, put your next ski on, line it up, and then cinch it. That's a, a great system and a great way to work very quickly while still having a very stable, functional workbench. So for that reason, I, I prefer not to lock the, the wings or the profiles down because it just takes a whole lot of time and then you need to adjust them every time that you switch the length skis, classic to skate, shorter to long, etc. Um, so that's the way I prefer to do it. I, I keep them unsecured and I push them out, take them off, put a new one on, line it up, push it in real, real solid, and then it's locked in and there's no play whatsoever. So that's a real nice thing, a nice way to go about working on multiple pair of skis quickly with a very stable workbench. Took a workbench with the profiles. Thanks.